Okay, this next video is going to walk you through how to create a course. You can create multiple courses. Uh, so what I do is I teach five periods a day. So I would actually have five different courses that I would treat each one separately. Even though three of those classes are the exact same class, it's just with different students. How to create courses is you go up here to the top tab area, the drop down box that says courses, click on that and click on create course. Okay, notice that there is a way that you can have people join. Students that will want to join your course will actually use this button right here and we'll talk a little bit more about that but for now just click create course. In this one I want you to actually fill in a course as if you were going to be using this in your career. So if you're a, a teacher by trade pick a class that you normally teach and create a course name that corresponds with that. For example, I would be doing Math 7. The subject area, make sure that relates to what you've been work, what, uh, what your course is, and then also select the relevant age level. Just so you know, before you can actually start teaching anybody through this free Schoology course, you have to actually verify your account and prove that you are a teacher before it'll allow you to teach students who are less than 13 years old. So if you do teach students and you do end up using this, um, you'll want to verify your account and actually prove that you're a teacher before you start running courses and interacting with students who are, who are younger. Go ahead and hit click create and it'll bring you to this point. A few things you want to note over here you can get notifications sent to you through different ways or for different reasons you can edit that to your own desire. This shows you which sections you can actually toggle back and forth between courses. We're gonna do more with this button in the next video but for now this just shows you a list of all of the materials you can add to this course. I highly recommend if you do use Schoology to add a picture that only corresponds to this course. Uh, since I taught five classes last year, uh, sometimes you know three of them say Math 7 on it, so I actually did Math 7 but then put a picture of here with a large 2 that showed me this is second period and then the other one was third period. So the pictures are very helpful to be able to know exactly which class you're working with if you teach multiple courses of the same type. There's a few options you have under courses. You can send messages to everybody, every member. You can put inf information in it. Okay. You can add tools and resources that students would use on a regular basis. Now, when students want to join this course, they are going to need this access code right down here. So once you create a course, it's going to give you a unique access code. If a student would like to join this course and they're using the basic Schoology program, they need this access code. This access code is simply for both parents and students. So if parents wanted access to be able, be able to view what their students are up to, then they can also use this access code. A few other things on the left that you'd be using on a regular basis. You can take attendance through here. I don't use this very often. You can create and give badges to different students for different things. This is a motivational tool. This is where you can keep track of grades. If you purchase Schoology, it actually automatically syncs the grades you input on Schoology to the grading system that your school district uses, which is nice. And you can click and look at members here. Okay. Uh, you can add more than just students to this. You can add other teachers to this course that can view and edit this course so that you can collectively work together to create a course. And I want you to notice one last thing before we finish this video. If you've created the course, you are automatically an admin. So whenever you look at a course and you see this little crown here, that means you are the king of this course or the, the queen of this course. That means you can edit it. You are the admin of this course. We just wanted you to understand what that symbol is right there.